Today we're in Job 27 together, where Job begins to discuss the riches of the wicked and where their hope for life and eternity is found. In reading Job 27, I'm reminded of all the times while working in student ministry I've gotten the question, how come kids who break the rules at school seem to have the most fun? My response to those questions is to point students to the book of Proverbs, where we learn that sin leads to destruction and righteousness leads to joy and peace. However, why do the unrighteous have it so good is a thought we all tend to have if we were to be honest. Here's my question though. Why are we tempted to be envious of the wicked? Sure, they may have lots of material wealth, but in Job chapter 27, we see the true condition of the wicked in verse 8. For what is the hope of the godless when God cuts him off, when God takes away his life? Apart from a relationship with God, where does hope come from in life? Where can we find hope not only for purpose in life, but also for all of eternity? The hope of the wicked in life is found in making themselves comfortable here and now. But as we also see in Job 27, riches are a temporary thing that are here today and gone tomorrow. And without God, the wicked only have hope going into eternity that things won't be worse than they are here and now on earth. Is that really where you want your hope for life and for eternity to be found? In something that can be taken away in an instant and isn't promised to last? Here's my encouragement to you today. Instead of being envious of the wicked when they prosper, have compassion and pray that they would come to have the same hope for the future that you have in Christ. Let me leave you today with a quote from one of my favorite hymns as to where we find our hope in life as believers. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. Mm -hmm.